Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to the messy desk. We're checking out a further distance so you can see more information um, of how things are getting, you can see a bigger picture. And so we'll check and see how that works. Today we're working with our mini journal pages. So these are pages in a Dear Julie Julie kit that are done smaller so that you can actually make, okay, what do we got? A uh, mini journal. So there's Thanksgiving using these mini journal pages. And this one is Tea and Roses. Okay, so Tea and Roses digital kit, mini journal, not totally embellished. This is the Patriotic Red, White, and Blue kit mini journal, okay? So you can actually use the mini journal kit and make a little journal out of it, okay? So, um, and then we also have used the mini journal pages to make the little purse notebooks. And so... Yeah, that's something we haven't done in a while. Maybe we'll do some do one do that for Christmas in July. Okay, there we go. So I have my um, mini journal kit. Now we're gonna make a zine, and then I'm going to show you that I took one of the pages, and I have made a slotted page out of this. So I have um, cut the slots out of here and here. Okay, so I've got a pocket there and a pocket here that things can go in. And then on this side, I have the pocket here and the pocket, it's a little pocket. It fits like a bookmark here. Okay, and then there's a pocket here on the side okay is how I did mine so this one needs its finishing touches it already had oh and then so after you've cut those out then you go ahead and you glue the pages in let me know if you want to see how this is done I did this for the VIPs um, and so and then I add it to this page it is a required element so um, yeah so let me know in the comments below if you want me to show you a video how to make the slotted page okay I'm gonna finish this one today so that it can go in the journal and so let me know down there so today the other thing that we need to make out of a slotted page or out of a mini journal page is we need to make a zine. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold my paper on the line. Okay, so fold it on the line. Now my mini journal, the newer ones, you have, your pages are done, um, one of them's upside down, okay? So that when you are making a zine, your pages are all in the right order. If you're doing one of the older ones, using one of the older ones, you might have to do something different to get that, to get that look. So we're gonna go ahead and fold the sides together. This is an eight and a half by 11 page. Okay, so like that. Okay, so we have it in a postcard fold right now. Then we're gonna take and we're gonna fold this page in. And I'm folding it to the, to the line of the picture, not so much to this line here, but I want my fold. I want my, oh, I should have left out the, the bone folder. <laughs> I just uh, just made the pocket day one for the collab. 
um, for the base pages collab. Um, Cindy A. Lewis made the day one. Oh my gosh, it was really cool. She did a one page, a wonder, uh, making a pocket. And I have um, given you that information um, in a video. I made I made it. I just don't know where I'm, when I or where I'm going to get to post it. But I did make it. But her information, um, day one, will be in the Dear Julie Julie Crafty community. I po I posted her video there. Okay, so we went ahead and I've cut just a little slit here. Okay, cut a little slit. And so when we go ahead and put this together, we're going to have this like that. Okay. So you can go ahead and poof. Okay. Just like that. You've got, you've got that. Okay. And so I'm going to want to add glue across the bottom of those two pages because I um, I want the bottoms glued. So we're gonna put some glue on one side and then take this and go like that, okay? And our two pages should be glued. Okay, now I'm going to pull this page over to the front. And while I'm doing it, I want to make sure that this stays down. Either. I think I want to put it this way. I think I want to put them in the front. Okay, so, so I'm going to find them, put them in the front. Pick your favorite, pick, pick your favorite front piece. Okay, so now I have a little booklet. Open, 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 and open and this did not this one did not glue okay but i want to okay so i want the bottoms of all of them glued Okay, so I have my zine. Page, 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 and page. And if you're having trouble with the buckle here, like I'm having trouble with the buckle, okay? See that? Buckle, buckle, buckle. I don't like the buckle. Who likes the buckle? Nobody likes the buckle. I'm going to see if I can fold it over. There we go. Try and fold out. There we go. Okay, so this is real time. This is this is how it really, really happens. It really works. And so then here I'm going to have, so the second page is coming out the top. And my last page is going to be a top, um, top pocket. Okay. Now I can go ahead and, 
uh, fold this and glue glue that down okay so now I have a side pocket on this front one that goes down I'll have a top po top pocket top pocket here so I want to make sure that this is staying Okay, so I have a top pocket, I have a side pocket, a top pocket. I'll have a side pocket here. And that's just my choice. You could have all top pockets. You could have no pockets. The fun thing is, is a gift card will usually fit in one of these also. So it kind of can make a fun little gift. Now I'm also going to add... A little bit of glue right here to close to close it all together okay so side pocket top pocket side pocket top pocket okay you can go in you can cut your white lines off if you want I am um, I think I'm going to do the old adding gold pin if I can find down yeah, we've been using this okay um, I think you know what we're gonna add green green pin because I know that it's working better okay so this is a zine they are I think it's a fun little little card it also makes a fun little um, goodie to put into a journal but again a gift card holder you can do it for like a gift and put pictures on your pages as you're filling it About to open the book up here. Okay. So I'm going to go through and do the, the white border. Get it done. Okay, so that's adding one thing to it. I do still, um, my base is done. I do still need to add a mixed media to this. There's a little bit of white on that. I'm going to go ahead and go all the way around it. So a lot of the kits have the mini journal kit in it. Um, A lot of the Patreon kits have a mini journal kit in them, or at least a mini journal page. Um, the thing is, is the newer ones have it set up to be a, a possibly be a zine where you can flip up the page or in your mini journal you can flip up the page and have pocket pages so like where are we we're just so how, how is everybody? We sure had a great weekend. Um, Sunday night, though, I had an allergy attack. I haven't had one in a very, a very long time. Bad enough that I had to get up and take medicine, which um, totally... 
takes me out for the next day. Uh-oh, yeah. So I am, I'm now behind. I'm now behind. Well, the other thing is, is, you know, we've had all these, Tom's been off all these days um, with the procedure and then 4th of July. And so I, and if he's off, I take the day off. So, um, whoop. Well, when you do that, then you just go ahead and make it. <laughs> So I'm feeling much better. I don't know what the the allergy attack was too. Um, we did have our window open. There might be a night blooming something going on. I you know, live in the desert, and a lot of a lot of things bloom in the night when they they feel safer, I guess. Plus. Um, there was dog disturbance in our neighborhood. I think dog. And yeah. So, so I'm all better. Um, so Patreons, watch for your uh, all your goodies to start happening. Uh, they're they're all in various stages of being finished, and I really thought that I would get them all done and posted. I have to do that from the big computer. So, um, if we're in the middle of a, that's the other thing is we are we've been having uh, thunder and lightning, uh, dry storms, so um, I don't. I don't computer, big computer during storms because it has to be plugged in and I would just be bummed if I lost everything. <laughs> so, okie dokie. I know that took a lot. It's like waiting for paint dry. Huh. But that was that great pen. This was a set of six pens, maybe more, maybe eight pens. from, um, I got them from Dollar General and they had them out for Christmas a couple of years in a row. I don't know if they'll have them this year. Okay. So we want to find, okay. So there's our cover. I love it. I love just adding that edge is amazing. And yes, we do have, um, things These are sticking out. Um, okay, so I think I wanna add um, some lace. Okay, so I think I'm gonna add it to this one here. Okay, that's, a, I'll use the lace we've been, been using. Okay, so we're gonna add an, a lace edge to this. I, you guys, I still need to add the um, mixed media to this one. So depending on what you want to do with this, this is going to go in this journal. So I think I'm going to make it mostly like writing space. And um, so there's that. Okay, it comes around. So it'll have that piece of lace. And then I think we'll add a piece of lace to the back. Also, so who is doing Christmas in July interested in having some Christmas ideas, um, possibly using things that you're going to have around your home? Now, if you are or wanted to get a jump on your Christmas crafting. Remember that you probably have um, wrapping paper, 
Christmas wrapping paper, gift bags, um, maybe your gift tags that can all be used to help give you a Christmas um, themed items. And some stores are starting to put Christmas out. I haven't been shopping really, so I don't know, but I know that usually um, Hobby Lobby is putting Christmas out by now. Does anybody know? Um, okay, so I'm gonna add this piece here that's gonna give us a little tuck. Okay, so a little tuck space is a great little addition. Okay, you still can see the butterfly. And so now we have added some of the, um, the masking paper. So gold pen and masking paper. I'm gonna go ahead and just put one of the tickets that I've been using in the journals here, okay? Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add fingernail polish. I love fingernail polish as a um, addition and I really have been enjoying it on this, this one here. I'm gonna start on this side because I'm right-handed. And so um, this is glittered fingernail polish. I had gotten this from Dollar Tree. Um, family dollar also our family dollar is a dollar tree so it's the number 544 now they I'm not I had, haven't found it in the last few times I've gone to shop okay so now on this one um, I also want to do up here okay and I'm just gonna do this on the cover just like you would see Sometimes on a book or whatever, they would just do the cover. I'm also going to come and add some glitter on these um, that look like they're the light bulbs. I probably should color them in yellow, but I haven't done that on the others that I've been doing, so I'm not going not gonna to start now. But these are like the lights in the tree. Okay. And I'm adding the glitter just to the green. Okay, just to the green. This is something I do especially like to do this at Christmas. Make sure in a well ventilated area. So that is going to be my mixed media for the zine. Um, just a little, just a little. And then I'm gonna come over here and grab have some of the gold tissue. Let's see, so we've got our green pen, our lace. We've added our mixed media. And now before this is finished, I'm gonna have to add things to all these places. So one of the things that I know that I'm probably gonna be able to use is one of these tags. If you have these, one of these from one of my kits or something, they usually fit perfectly in here. I'm going to cut that off because that's too long. Okay. I'll come back and decorate that later. I do not need it decorated um, for the, the requirement of this at this time. I do want to add, okay, so now um, we can use Project Life Cards. If you have a Project Life Card, you can use Project Life Card 
um, oh, we need to cut it down a little bit, but you can see that um, sometimes, <laughs> depending on how, how much you had cut this, you would be able to put, put one of these in. Okay, so that looks good. So giving you idea, you'll fill the two, those two, and you'll fill these two before your journal is finished. And let's see, I want to add one more thing. And you know what I have? I have, I know it's purple, but I have, a, I have a stamp. I have a NATO stamp. It just happens that NATO had their big to do in Washington this week. So we'll just put this NATO stamp in here. Um, Big Daddy got us a bunch of purple stamps. And uh, this, this is one of them that was from the, the gathering. From the gathering. Okay, looking for the posted postmark stamp, and it did not go back where it's supposed to, so I'll grab the other one, the Paris one. Okay, I'll stamp it here to see what direction it goes. It goes in this direction. <laughs> canceled it. Okay. So yeah, just, just need to add three things. So I have this, this tag that I can decorate to go in this one, this back pocket. Okay. Or actually it can go in the front pocket. Okay, so there will be a video um, of me decorating and finishing the, the goodies that need to go into our journal. Okay, so what's going on there? There we go. Okay, so this is the zine. You've got four sets of pages, so eight pages. Um, I used the green sparkly pen around all of the pages and then I used the gold fingernail polish on the front as my mixed media. So I'm considering mixed media something different and wet. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> um, then here we have, I added lace. I added a stamp. And Excuse me. And I stamped on it. And I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So it goes in and out of here easier. Okay. And then we will have, um, we'll want something to go in the front. do pink. Pink, pink, pink. Okay. So if I do it like this and then round the corners. too big. Okay, I want it to I want to see the lace, so we're going to Okay, there you go. Could 
have a tab on there or whatever. But there's my zine and it is ready to be marked off. And that is made out of a mini journal page from a Dear Julie Julie Digital. And we can take this and it can go right in behind there. And so my other mini journal page was, um, was this. And I think again, the green pen would be cool since we're, since we're green pinning. Now, um, I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I'll just do this front page. Your mini journal slotted page is to be a full mini journal page. So like this, this whole page and, um, and then you can slot, you need at least two pockets on each side. Okay. So that is the requirement. And I did already say that before. Two pockets, full page. We'll just do this, um, this page, but just know that I will be doing the green around this whole page. And then I think I'll do gold on the other, the other side. Okay. Meaning on the back of this, there's another digital. And this was regular copy paper. This was after I ran out of the really cool, thicker copy paper. Okay, so I have uh, my Dear Julie Julie digital base. I have, there's white over here. Oh, it's just the glare, huh? I have, um, this is the mixed media and it is the Fairy Lights Glitter Paste that I use there. Okay. And so I think, I think we can come over. I think I want to use some of the wax effects. Um, beeswax, the translucent, okay. And I like to use my finger. And I'm gonna go ahead and, I just like the way it does on these music pages primarily. It's, it's like, wow. Okay, remember it takes 24 hours for this to cure. Um, it does dry pretty fast, but for it to, f to finish curing, it takes, takes longer, okay. So this, this can be one of my three things. Remember, this is a pocket here. But I'm gonna go ahead and get my wax effect across the whole thing and then pull it up so that it, so it doesn't close. So I've got wax effect in my fingernail. <laughs> I hate when that happens. So I really like the way that looks on, especially on music. So I think we'll go ahead, probably come over here and do it on this. So this is, this would be a mixed media and, or an enhancement. I'm going to use it this, this time this is an enhancement. And I like this way, the way this works with the, the digitals, 
from my printer anyway. I don't. It dries matte with a little bit of a, a little bit of a shimmer. It is a wax. No, actually it's an acrylic. Wax effects, translucent layering acrylic from DecoArt. Okay, and I got mine from Spectrum Art Creations from one of their Saturday sales. I don't know if this is something that they always carry. Okay, so grunging that up, I love it. So green pen and then that. And then we've got our slotted pockets. I think the other thing, um, okay, I wanna clean off my hand. So I just have some, like, cleaning wipes. These are the ones I need to get. I need to get a new batch. I do still have some. Get it out of my fingernail. Okay, so, um, you know what, I think I want to add, a piece of the gold tissue. I'm going to add it right there. I wonder if we can get enough glue out of this to put it down at the very end of the glue. Try to get all the way down to the very last drop. Okay. So there's some tissue. And then... and add some of the drywall tape. Okay, I like that. Gives me a cool looking collage down there. This is the edge, so I think I'll go ahead and add I'm going to cut this. Okay. I want to come into the flowers, so I'm going to cut it right here. Okay. 
it and I'm going to come up to the green edge on this one. Usually I go all the way to the edge, but I think I'm just going to go to the green edge. Okay. So that'll be one page. It has the wax effect, the glitter paste, the green pen, and the um, drywall tape. Okay, so this, there we go. Okay, now remember, this is a slotted pocket page, so it is going to be able to have something here, and something here. Okay, in that side. And then when you come over to this side, we'll have something here. And we'll have like a bookmark. What do we got? Got this. Okay, so something there. And something in this side pocket down here. Okay, and that is our slotted pocket page. Okay, so I'll be adding the green around the edge. I'll be adding the gold around this side. This was a page that the Patreons received and it is a French ad. So, yeah. So there you go, slotted pocket page, green pen, the um, glitter paste, and the wax effects, the tissue, and the I'm like going, oh, this corner's coming up. Drywall tape. Okay, so the drywall tape. I love to use the drywall tape. Do you use drywall tape? <laughs> okay, so there you go. Remember, today is day two of the Base Pages collab. And so I will put the link to day two in the description box down below, as well as all those other links I talked about. And I hope you will uh, watch the creators that are creating for the base page collab. And again, day one was Cindy A. Lewis, and I've posted her video in the Crafty Community. I will continue to post them as I find them. Um, post them into the crafty community as well. And so, yeah, so I hope you'll come back tomorrow. Join us here at 1030 Pacific Standard Time. We are here every day with a new video. I'm just trying to stack these ink pads. Have an amazing day, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, don't forget, we also made a zine. Okay, so both of these were made out of mini journal pages. Sorry about that. Both of these were made out of mini journal pages. We have our little zine. We have our slotted pocket page ready to go into my challenge journal. You feel challenged in July? Are you enjoying the challenge? You can still join. There's still plenty of time to... Um, to do this challenge and join us at the virtual internet party um, that we will have for everyone that finishes their July challenge. Um, they'll be invited to the virtual internet party in August. Okay. Um, those of you that finish June, watch for your invitation to the VIP very soon. Have an amazing day, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. The Base Pages collab has started and we are on day two. So check out Cindy A. Lewis on YouTube for day one. Emerald Mama's Creations for day two. The links are down below.
Many of the creators are creating each day as well as the day that they are featured. And you can find them in the playlist, Base Pages PT. Um, also, I am participating each day and that video will drop at midnight my time um, each day starting tonight.